If you are not using Zapier, prepare to have your mind blown. Oh my goodness, this is the greatest piece of software ever invented. It is an automation that says, if this happens, then do this. And for today's purposes, we're going to say, if a new video is published in my YouTube channel, I want you to share it in other places. So you're gonna create an account at Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R dot com if you don't already have a, an account set up. And when you come to the dashboard, you're going to say, connect this app, YouTube. Where do I want to share the video? I could share it in Pinterest. I can share it on Facebook. You cannot share it to Instagram, but if you upload a video to Instagram, you can share it on YouTube. Um, you cannot yet share it to Google My Business either. So let's do one for Facebook. Now I'm going to tell you that you probably will not get as much engagement if you just share it directly to Facebook. However, is it worth saving your time because personally when i go to my analytics in youtube and i check out where my views are coming from very few of my views are coming from facebook so i'm okay with automating it i just want it to be there to have a presence there but i'm not relying on facebook to send me a lot of views i rely on the google algorithm giving me a lot of views right so we could do this for facebook too again we would say youtube and we're going to connect it with Facebook. And it's going to go to my Facebook page. The trigger is there's a new video in the channel. Do this. Now you would think create page video makes the most sense, but it doesn't work because I think what is ha what has to happen is you have to download the video from YouTube and then upload it into Facebook and it can't do that. So instead we're going to make a page post. If you can get the page video thing to work, please tell me but right now i can't ever get it to work i've tried a million times so we're going to create a page post instead and i'll walk you through how this works so again same thing which channel this channel and we have to go get that channel id see how it says videos at the end we don't want that we literally only want the channel and the slug, the, the channel name slug, if you will. All right, test and review. It goes and it looks for your videos. Here's one of the videos. Yes, that is correct. I am done editing. Now we go to create the post in Facebook. So we are using our Facebook pages, meaning our business pages. Which one? I have a lot of business pages. You probably do too. Let's say that it is this one. The message. What do we want the actual post to say? Well, I'm just going to choose the description from below the video. And here is the URL and continue. So let's test and review. In a second, it says it was successful. We go to Facebook. <clears throat> we go to the business page and we go to look at the posts and bam there it is so it will say published by zapier just now this is what it puts in so again it is linking to the video this is not a video that's been uploaded natively to facebook if you really want to get as many views on the video as possible, then upload a teaser video to Facebook. But if your goal is to just have it appear in, on as many platforms as possible, and you're not really all that concerned about getting a ton of views on Facebook, it's more just having a presence there, then Zapier is the way to go. Now I'm gonna delete this because <clears throat> I already have this Zap set up and I don't wanna duplicate. Once it has been shared, feel free to go in and edit it. That's what I did. So I went in and I edited it and I said new video and then I deleted all of the other stuff. So this is all that's in the post, not everything that is in the video itself, like 
this when I go to show more, like all of this, connect with me, let's be friends, here's my stuff, blah, blah. like I didn't do all that stuff, I just did the most basic, right? So Zapier is amazing. And then let's see, you can, I'm going to say delete this one because I already have this Zap set up and I do not want to have duplicates and it's turned off. Okay, good. There are so many different Zaps that you can do once you start using this. You can uh, connect so many different applications. If you get a new lead in your inbox, you can add it to your CRM. You could add it to a Google Sheet. When you publish a new video, you could back it up to Google Drive. I mean, goodness, there are tons and tons and tons of zaps that are already created. So you could just start scrolling and say, do you use Slack? Do you use Google Calendar? Um, if I use Active Campaign, which is my CRM for my coaching business. If I, oh, let's see, I want to add somebody to my Google Calendar, they'll show you these zaps that they've already created, or you can start from scratch. But if they have one that's already created, then it's going to save you a lot of time. So I encourage you to start looking at all of the different software programs that you are currently using and start making some zaps that will automate your business and make your life so, so, so much easier.